Hi everyone, I'm Zoe Canella from Zoe the Movies and Kids First. Today I'm so excited to be talking to Charlie Clark, actor, writer, and producer of the film Green Ghost and the Masters of the Stone. How are you? Good, thank you for having me. Of course, it's a pleasure to talk to you. I love Green Ghost because he's not afraid to make fun of himself and is very open to being true to him. So where did you get this idea and how, did you want to make him um, approachable and likable for the audience? Absolutely. Um, you know, when I started in business back in, I, I, I'm an entrepreneur, so I walked away from a family business and I started my own business. Um, thank God for a, a banker that lent me the money for that. But being that I started uh, with nothing, um, I had to borrow my working capital and everything. So I um, needed to Back then, I was trying to, you know, I didn't want to do typical advertising, and I do, I live on the border, and all my businesses are literally on the border from the Rio Grande Valley up to El Paso. So I'm, um, and I speak fluent Spanish because the movie's dedicated to my Mexican Nana, uh, and she's from Montemorelos, uh, Nuevo León, Mexico, and so, and, and also to my Mexican family. So I wanted to it's a it was a shocker for people because we were the I was the first one to do Spanish marketing for for new cars, and so when I spoke Spanish and they could tell that I knew how to speak Spanish and and it was part of who I am. It's not and it's not just speaking Spanish, it's like understanding the culture, and so this in essence was my my mask. Like I'm dis disfrazado like a gringo but I have this Mexican side to me, you know? So I wanted to create a character because I grew up watching Chapulín Colorado and Chavo del Ocho and El Santo, El Santo the Luchador. So um, since I grew up watching those particular shows, uh, I thought to myself, how cool would it be to create a, a character in which I speak Spanish throughout the whole show? Now in this movie, that's not the case. It's bilingual, but... Um, the show I created was all on, on Spanish TV and on Mexican television. So I wanted to shock people not only with my Spanish and hopefully show an appreciation that, that I'm part of their family and their culture. Um, but, you know, on top of that, in green tights, making fun of myself can't hurt and also got the whole family to laugh. And, you know, I wanted to get that kind of reaction that I, that I the way I laughed at those shows growing up. That's exactly what I want to do. That's why it was Green Ghost and Mexican. I had sponsors back then, you know, and they helped. Without that, them, I wouldn't have been able to produce the show. And it was a different way to market. So to me, if I'm coming out on Mexican television and it was showing on the American side of the border on cable uh, and uh, uh, on cable and on regular television, uh, and I was hitting all those households on both sides of the border, um, and I could get 30 minutes on Mexican TV for around the same price as I could get 30 seconds on, uh, the, you know, the, the English speaking station during the newscast. So I said, I've got to be able to create something and create a whole brand that's not typical car business stuff like, come on in for the best deal, best buy, boring, 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 same old typical advertising. So that's the way it initiated. So I thought to myself, how can I create a name that would actually be making fun of being a gringo? The green ghost, <laughs> you know? So they always mistakenly call me gringo and I'm like, it's green ghost, you know? So that was the way the, the joke started and people seem to really resonated with it and like it. Yes, I loved it. And I also love that the character, he is a superhero, but I love how he's not like the typical Superman. I, I think he kind of, he's an ordinary guy who created himself into this wonderful character. And a huge congratulations on the film. I Thank loved you. it. I think you Thank did a fantastic job. Thank you. I really appreciate that. You know, I appreciate you saying that, yeah. Yeah, and as you were saying, this was based on your Nana. So a lot of the stuff that happened in the movie um, happened in real life too. So how much of the real Charlie is related to um, the, this character that you created? How similar are they? I mean, very, very, very similar. I mean, the Charlie in the movie is was me in, in real life. That was my real business portrayed there. Uh, you know, uh, me leaving, you know, my gringo family to go with my Mexican family. Uh, in, in general, in a broader sense, like the, the Mexican American community and the Mexican community who have taken care of me throughout, you know, whether it's buying cars from me or 
working on, with me on my team. Um, you know, they've supported me completely. I wouldn't be where I'm at today. I wouldn't have been able to do the movie or anything. So that's why I dedicated to my Nana and dedicated to all of them, you know. But so uh, it was painful for me to have to, to, to leave my, you know, my gringo family and move out and do my own business. You know, I was supposed to be in the family business and because, you know, I had the situation uh, at home with the stepmother and all that. I said, you know what? Didn't want to fight over family politics. I'm going to go out and get on my own and start my own business. And uh, and then, of course, I've been loved on. Me dieron mucho cariño. You know, the, the, the Mexican community always has and always loved on me and made me feel like part of their family. So therefore, I cater to them as well because they are my family. Yeah, of course. I love how different and how um, represented Latinos are in your film as a Latina myself. Um, and not only that, but also the messages. You have a great cast here, but I love how you can make your own family or every family is different. There's no perfect family. It's very also well represented. So how do you think we can all be a better family? Do you think having quality time with each other? Or what do you think makes a good family? Well, what I think makes a good family is when you have people, and especially adults, that care for the children that they're um, that they're taking care of, guiding them, giving them the best advice, also making sure that they they have a, a, a healthy and happy a household to live in, um, whether they're blood relatives or not. You're, you're responsible for giving them the tools to make it in life, and uh, to, so that they can they they will succeed in life and uh, not uh, not not uh, fall to the, the you know crater in out there getting out into the world. Uh, so to me, it's like my Nana taking care of me. Maybe she wasn't my, my blood Nana, but she was just so much of a mother for me that uh, I wouldn't be who I am today if she hadn't loved on me like that and taken close care of me. So my advice is, you know, if you have to make your own family, you find people that are gonna take care of you, push you to do the right things, push you to, for, to, toward a healthy lifestyle and, and a loving household um, and, 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 and pushing towards success in whatever you do, excelling, you know, so you need good mentors in life. You need good people that are going to push you and, and push you to the next level so that you, you get out there and you make the most of your life, not just sit back and, and you know, deteriorate. Couldn't agree more. You know, I love the quote, not every family is perfect. Sometimes we have to make our own family. That was the movie. Yeah, I think it, it's so true. Um, I also want to point out the cast. You worked with so many talented actors. I actually interviewed Gono Beko out back, who was in this film, and you have Danny um, Thresho. So how was it to get all these talented um, actors and this great crew together? And how challenging was that for you? It was a real challenge, I got to tell you. And what was really interesting was the night that I decided to do this movie, I was thinking about it, thinking about it. It's like I'd done 30 shows, you know, back in the day, all in Spanish. And, you know, my actual Nana, my Mexican Nana came out in those shows. She played the, the sort of the Mexican Mary Poppins of the movie, of the show. And it, I, we had a lot of fun doing that. And when it came to the point like, well, are you ever gonna make a movie? I was like, mm. I don't know. And I was going through tough times in business. I had all, in, like in the movie, I had almost lost my business several times. I didn't think I could afford to try to do a movie, you know? So it was like, but I got to the point of about seven years ago where I just woke up one night and I was stressed out about work, but I said, I'm going to get this movie done. And if I don't, if I don't do it now, I'll never do it. I've got to do it now. So, uh, I decided that night I was flipping through the TV and I'm watching this guy with a blue mask and the goggles fighting really cool fight, fight scenes. And it was in Spanish. And I was like, well, that's not Mexican Spanish. Where's this thing from? I was from Chile. I was like, wow, that's good production. Great action. I mean, that, that really kind of inspired me. I said, right when I was thinking about doing my own thing, bam, I said, if that guy with a blue mask can do it, well, the gringo can do it. <laughs> <laughs> the green ghost so i went out and i thought i found that this is the most interesting part i went through several different production companies till i landed on working with robert rodriguez's brother uh david rodriguez right 
So you know who Robert is, who did Desperado and Machete and Alita Battle Angel. I mean, he's huge. So to be attached to him, and I went to his his premiere of Machete and uh, back in the day, and I was like, wow, I'm 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 now got Robert um, on board with this thing. So uh, well, his brother anyway, and the family and the roots, and then he got in touch with Edward James, almost his son, to be the director. And it started growing like uh, legs, right? So I was like, this is great, gaining momentum. We're getting now, they got Danny, Th they said, let's call Danny Therko. Well, obviously they have access right to him. So they called Danny Therko. And once we got Danny, he's like, well, who is this gringo and why would I work with him? I was like, well, okay, look, I'm, I do local acting here. I haven't been in feature films. I've been on television, but I'm bringing... Will Smith's acting coach and J-Lo's acting coach, who's worked with J-Lo, worked with Will Smith, worked with uh, Gerard Butler, with Virginia Madsen. I'm taking this seriously. I'm not messing around. And I'm also going to go train my martial arts overseas for a month and, so that I can do my fight scenes, as many of them as I can. Because I'm still making fun of myself even when I do my own fight scenes. So it's not me trying to be all cool. It's super cool. Uh, my, my moves aren't going to be anywhere close to like the moves of the real action stars. So the challenge was to sell them on me. You know, like, who are you? Why would we act with you? So, if, so we're known actors. We're professionals. You're, you're playing around. So I had to show I wasn't playing around. I had to prove that point. So I had Aaron Spicer, that acting coach. If you look him up, Aaron Spicer Acting School. So he uh, he was by my side the whole time. I said, I'm going to have him there, guys. I'm not messing around. He'll be with me. And when the actors, you know, heard that, they're like, okay. But the cool part I was trying to tell you that that night I was inspired. They said, Charlie, I was working with some stunt guys. And they were like, Charlie, you need a bigger guy because you're a big guy. You can't have a contrincante that's going to be a little guy. You know, that's, that's going to look bad. They said, we got a guy who played The Rock's stunt double in a movie called The Rundown uh, that was down in Brazil. He's in Chile. He's an amazing guy. He could choreograph all your fights, and he does his own movies, and, and he can also play your main villain. In fact, by the way, he just came out in John Wick 4. So when John Wick 4 comes out, he's one of the main contrincantes <laughs> in that movie. So... It turns out when we're training, right? He says, hey, did you ever see my movie Mirage Man? I said, no, after I had already hired him and I, he showed me, he said, I want you to do a fight scene like this. And it was the blue mask guy. I said, you're kidding me, dude. You're the reason why I decided to do this movie. And I didn't know that when I hired him. Crazy. Incredible. I know. I said, you're the inspiration for me doing this. And I didn't know that before I hired you. It's just like such a cosmic connection. It's so serendipitous. But then we got uh, Renee Victor on board. And I don't know if you knew this or not, but Ray Renee Victor was the voice of the abuela and Coco. So the chancla lady, Coco, she plays my nana. And, and my, in my slogan with our business is nana pao pao. Si tu no haces que tu promet, prometas, nana pao pao. So it's funny that the chancla lady, to, and it had nothing, nada que ver. Like it, it wasn't even planned that way. You know, then we got Andy Chang. Out of the blue, he 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 also because of the connection with Marcos, uh, Marcos Aror, he was the action director for Shang Chi. So the fight scenes, as you well know and you saw, were just am amazingly well done, and these guys were just awesome, you know. Um, but having Andy Chang, who did Shang Chi, on board was just killer. And then we had Cain Velasquez there. We had Bobby Lashley from the WWE, and um, so yes, the challenge went from. Am I going to be a straight to DVD movie or am I going to make it to the cinema? Now, if I'm going to make it to the movie theater, oh, how am I going to get there? What elements do I need to get there? I need a great movie. <laughs> I need to look big. It needs to look big. It doesn't need to look like, you know, there's low budget movies that made it to the big screen, you know? So you just you have to have a product that people want. So I pushed and pushed and pushed. So I got the right cast and then we got the right editing done finally that we got the right special effects and then the songs we pushed for my gosh they were so hard to get approved but you know we got gasolina from daddy yankee and we got 6 a.m from the fists and tantrums we got eye of the tiger of all things from rocky 
But the cool part was, if you all want to know a fun fact, I had Robert Rodriguez's band. He produced that song in Spanish for this movie. And there's no other place you're going to be able to hear it. It's not going to be played on the radio, but you're going to hear Ojo del Tigre en Español en esta película. So it's really cool for the training montage. That's incredible. Again, huge kudos to you for putting together this great cast. I can definitely tell it was a challenge, but I think all your hard work 100% paid off in the end and you created something that the audience will fall in love with. Thank you. I really appreciate you. I appreciate that green. Very nice. Yes, staying in theme with the, the movie. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Charlie. Pleasure talking to you. And I haven't seen the film on the big screen, but I definitely look forward to it. I've oh, seen it already, though, and I loved it. Please, please watch. I wanna, I'd love to hear your opinion. The movie is now open today. It's opening right now. And um, so it's in theaters. Um, if you want more information, you can go to Green Ghost, not Green Go, GreenGhostMovie.com. GreenGhostMovie.com. And you can still register to win right now three Nissan Versus throughout the state of Texas. I'm sorry, not Versus, three Nissan Leafs, all 100% electric. So go green, green go, I mean green ghost. And you can win three Nissan Leafs. Three. Nice. Go green. Yeah, go green. Go green. Dame chance. Yes. Thank you so much. That helped.